Hey, how's everybody doing? Stockliff here, and welcome to this quick ranked online match between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Oklahoma City Thunder. And as people know, the Oklahoma City Thunder are pretty good online, especially because they can shoot. And this game's shooting percentage is through the charts. So keep that in mind when watching this video, and as well as the Lakers are without Steve Nash online and in real life. So. Basically, uh, all you need to know about the game is uh, the Los Angeles Lakers are the Los Angeles Lakers. So, with that said, Kobe's going to get the ball and try to do stuff, and Oklahoma City is just going to jack up threes for the most part. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get on to the main topic of the video, which is the Los Angeles Lakers losing. Try saying that five times fast because it, it really doesn't fly off the tongue as crisp as you'd think so basically the Lakers are 12th in the Western Conference right now sitting at a record at 10 and 14 as the time I'm doing this again by the time you watch this it may be different but they have that four or five game losing skid and they're just not getting the job done quite frankly and people have been wondering why uh, you know this team is struggling why is a team that is supposed to be number one or number two in the Western Conference as Dwight Howard throws it down on Serge Ibaka he actually went into instant replay because Ibaka was there sort of but it doesn't matter Dwight Howard just sort of jumped over him and dunked it on on top of him as a poster so I guess that's one good thing for the Lakers but anyways, th they were projected number one or number two overall in the Western Conference. And obviously, they're not living up to that. And I think I can dissect some of their mistakes that they've made. Uh, one is uh, the general management, or just management in general. Mike Brown getting fired. I don't think it's necessarily his fault that this whole thing is happening because they hired Mike D'Antoni and... Basically, the same thing is continuing to happen. I mean, if not that, it's almost even worse. So, with that said, you have, I believe that you have two point guards out, Steve Nash and Steve Blake. The two Steves on the team are both uh, out, not playing. And, you know, that, that's a pretty key thing. Steve Nash is a playmaker. But I just want to say I, I don't think the Lakers really – put together a good team in the offseason like I did an offseason video for the Lakers uh, in 2k12 saying what they needed to do I said they needed to get a good point guard and try for some better talent now I, I did say they could trade Pal Gasol or not but that, that that's all but I don't know that's, that's an iffy call I don't know if I would do it but anyways I just don't think that having one of the best centers in the game, having one of the best playmakers in the game, and having one of the best shot creators and just general scorers in the game all on one team is necessarily a good combination. I mean, if you look at the first year with Miami, uh, with Wade, LeBron, and Bosh, you know, th they made it to the finals and lost. And, you know, that, I think that big three is was better in 2011 than this big three now, if that makes sense. I think... Miami was able to play because they had positions that, you know, that, that didn't matter, really. They had a shooting guard, small forward, and power forward. Uh, they could stay small, which is where the NBA is going. There's not a big, no big team, or no big teams with uh, big centers hardly at all anymore. And there's no, like, real point guard-oriented teams. Well, that's not necessarily a true statement. Because there, there is point guard orient, oriented, but you know, getting older isn't necessarily the best thing. So, basically, what I'm saying is, it's it's got to be a chemistry issue. There, there's just no way that a team with this much talent lose games in the margins that they're losing and the streaks that they're going on, and they're not hot streaks either. So. Basically, Kobe's been trying his hardest to try to win games, and he's been very frustrated. And basically, uh, their role players aren't stepping up as much as I thought they would. Antoine Jameson's been up and down. 
He's had like three good games this season, and by good games, I mean really good games, like 20-plus points. I figured uh, going from Cleveland to Los Angeles would be a good fit for him, but I can see that that's not exactly working. Pau Gasol isn't exactly playing to his uh, highest ability. They're trying to trade – well, they're looking to trade him. I don't know. But looking to trade him isn't necessarily a good thing for his morale because it just doesn't work like that. And especially – uh, the hiring, and I didn't want to take this shot, by the way, but the hiring of Mike D'Antoni, I think, was a mistake. Uh, I know that getting Phil Jackson was a long shot, but the way that that man coached, I think you would have been better off with Phil Jackson because basically you got Mike D'Antoni to run his Phoenix offense from forever ago. We're talking 06, 07, somewhere around that area with Steve Nash, Sean Marion, Amari. See, that worked out because they had some really aggressive players. But the Lakers have a mixture, and they're not sure what to do with it yet. And I really think that they need to find what they want to do. Because right now, they, they just have like a mixture of different things going on. So, I really don't know what to tell the Lakers. And, I mean, is this could this get any worse? Kobe's getting blocked by Thabo Cephalosha. But I think they shouldn't have jumped the gun on Dan Tony with his run-and-gun offense because it's not working because you have an older shooting guard, an older point guard, and basically Dwight Howard might have to be the future of this franchise, even though, depending on how this year, go, or this year goes, he might not even stay. So there's that. And do I think the Lakers can make the playoffs? I do think that they'll settle down and end up winning games, but I think they'll be a five or a six seed in the West. I mean, the league is changing a little bit, and I'll talk about uh, different stuff coming up, but I just wanted to dedicate this video to the Lakers and their current losing habits. So, I mean, I definitely think they should have got Phil Jackson, and if he didn't want to come there, I mean, that's that. But the way I see it is the Lakers just need to settle down, find, what, find their niche, find their go-to weapons, and initiate it and as if this video could get any worse for the Lakers uh, a failed law pass to Dwight Howard I mean that was that was a decent pass and you know in real life that could have went down it could have not so uh, whatever but Kevin Durant from the corner I I promise you they shot like 68 percent this game and I, we only shot like 40 some Antoine Jameson wasn't making shots Basically, I played how the Lakers played in real life. You have Kobe and Dwight being the only ones that really do anything, and then the rest just hardly don't do any at all. So, I mean, it should be an interesting season how this is going to unfold, but I definitely think that the Lakers just need to calm down, and trust me, the press doesn't help at all. It, it, it just adds more pressure. So, uh, we'll see over time, but... Thanks for watching and hope you guys have enjoyed and as always, have a nice day.